Right, we're just going to wait for this to boot up. And then we can go ahead, open Odin, and flash a 2.1 firmware. Okay, so right now we're running Froyo 2.2, and let me just show you that. Show you about phone. And show you it's Android version 2.2, but we're going to go back down to 2.1 because it's faster. So again, we're going to go into um, the download mode. And again, we're going to hold the volume down button, the power button, and the menu button. Okay, now we're going to go back to Odin. And this time, instead of um, selecting the other firmware that we just flashed, we're going to go ahead and select the, p the same pit again, but a different PDA. We're going to select the, the code, this file over here. And then we're going to select for the phone, the modem. They look a, they look a little different. They're like um, white sheets of paper for the icons. So you'll be able to tell them from these. The modem. And of course the CSC file. Okay, and we're just going to do the same thing again. We're going to hit start. Alright, and you're going to see the progress again. And while that's loading, we're going to go over to the browser again. This time, um, there's another link from XDA again. And we're going to be downloading the lag fix, the CF lag fix by Chainfire. And there, there will be a link on the website over here I already downloaded it just showing you where it is all right so it seems that Odin is pretty much done it's just resetting okay so you see it's in a different language I'm just gonna go over here ROM so Go here, and you want to go. You want to go to the icon um, that kind of has the letter A in it. It's going to be your keyboard, and then you're going to go to the first one, and go ahead and select your language. So I'm going to go select this one. But um, okay. And then the other thing that you want to do, oh well, it's not in USB debugging, but you want to make sure that you can access the your phone files on your computer. So you're going to go to autoplay, or at least um, open the folder that contains your phone. See it's computer and then your phone, and then phone over here. And then I have the hacky player ROM over here, but you want to drag and drop the SAMSET ROM onto the root of your SD card, internal SD card, not the external SD card, but um, the one on your phone. Alright, so we want to delete this one. It's the same one. Um, just delete that. And then we're going to rename the SAMSET 1.9 to just update zip. And that's it. Okay, and then we're just gonna eject the phone, or rather just unplug it. Press the menu button to get out of this, and you'll be out. And then what you wanna do again, 
is go to settings and this time sorry about the glare uh, you want to go to applications development and check USB debugging and it's going to prompt you to unplug your phone from your computer which I will do um, set this down again just going to unplug it and then select USB debugging say OK and then you're going to connect your phone to the computer once again And then you're going to go back to, we can close this, but we're going to go back to the command prompt. And instead of typing ADB devices, go to tools, ADB reboot, recovery. And then the phone should be rebooting into recovery mode. And then you're going to go over here, sorry about the glare again, and you'll see um, an option called apply SD card update that zip. And then you're going to use the volume buttons to navigate up and down, but you just only need to press down once. And then you're going to press the menu key to select it, or the back button at least. Not the menu key, it doesn't do anything, just the back button to go ahead and select that. Okay, there we go. And you're just going to go um, wait for that to be done. Should be done pretty quickly. And your phone will reboot.